Hey people, welcome back to Follow That. Hope you're doing well. Now, we are going to be stealing ourselves a jumbo jet today. Now, that location there is, it's kind of the back way into the airport, so you can go through the main gates, or this is a lot more fun, a bit more spectacular. Oh if you can keep it in a straight line, all the better. So we'll just drive along this beach and obviously if you have bought the airport hangar later on in story mode then you don't need to bother with any of this but either way it's a pretty spectacular way to gain entry into the airport. Line up, do you need a fast car or you just go straight into that fence? And then we are away. So three stars automatically obviously I haven't bought the aircraft hangar like I said if you have you can just explore around and it kind of takes the fun out of it really where's where's the fun in stealing something if you haven't got the cops and cop helis all around you so go over to the opposite corner of the airfield right to me and there it is so a lot of these jets you can't interact with but the one that is here and equally if you see them coming into land you can interact with them this one, we're good. How did the cop get there so quickly? That is nuts. I can't believe that. Right, okay. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, so you just have to stand underneath it and click on enter vehicle like you would with any other vehicle. Okay, so it's surprisingly maneuverable jet. So I think we're good. I love how the scale changes so everything just goes mini well those little itty bitty police cars and the heli obviously they have to change the dimensions given just how massive this jet is okay so the only real success of this is get there quickly because that jet otherwise would take too much fire and then it'd be gone so look got those police cars chasing me watch those police cars bang <laughs> into the vent and as you fly away that police heli will stop chasing you and you're basically you're good so once you've got rid of the stars if you've got some damage like I have here just swap the character swap to another character swap straight back and it repairs the plane and you are basically good to go there we go so that's sort of the general way general easiest way to you know what I think I've taken too much damage okay so just to show you that again if you get it wrong so right so this is the corner where you'll find jet if you're too slow so here let's have a look get underneath enter the vehicle it's kind of a little bit like the army base, it's not as hardcore as that if you're trying to steal a Titan from an equal size. But if you're too slow, God, they are swarming around me. Even though I've got away, I took way too long to get it. Oh dear, police cars police getting under my wheels. Even this massive jet taking a lot of fire. I've got rid of them off my wheels. Are we going to make it? Maybe. Ah, oh, no, no. Wow. I love. I love the way. Just <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Frankly, you just catapulted via jet. I should add. I I do have invincibility on for Franklin. Okay. One more way here is you can go and mess around with pods, can't you? So here you see we've actually got the jumbo. Oh, lovely turn, Franklin. Skills. Here we've got the jet coming in. So if you park it, what? See that police car? That police guy just come out of nowhere. He just spawned in, didn't he? <laughs> there we go. If you're way too slow, that's what happens. But enjoy mods. So I've got the enhanced native trainer on. Levitation, but let's take those cops with us. 
There we go, and using that, vehicle options, fix, there we go, we have a plane. And equally using that, you can just spawn one. So there you go, take care.